assalamu alaikum my name is hamid and hope you are doing well in this tutorial exercise we will learn some of the basic commands of solidworks uh, we will solve some 2d sketch exercises uh, and uh, we will learn how to save the solidworks file format in jpg pdf and uh, we will also learn how to set uh, smart dimensions font its arrow and uh, the decimal precision so let's start from the part here i am selecting the top plane and make it normal uh, and uh, from here you can see that the center line midpoint and the line here are the rectangle section and uh, here is the slot and uh, straight slot center point slot and so on i'm selecting from here the straight point straight slot and uh, uh, we selected uh, the top lane for this and i'm going going to select uh, the center point straight slot and choose the origin as reference point and choose second point and then just draw it and uh, now i'm selecting the center line from here and uh, now i want to draw a circle from here i have drawn a circle uh, we will give the dimensions to these so go to the smart dimensions and select this line and uh, give the dimension of 60 mm to this and give uh, radius to this of Uh, radius to this of uh, 20 mm and uh, we give a dimension to this of 220 mm this radius will uh, also be same as uh, the bellow one like this okay now we will give dimension to this of 170 mm now uh, we want to add a line here that will be the tangent to this circle and this and i'm selecting this circle and from here you can see that this line is tangent to the uh, slot and select ok now you can also see that it's also tangent on this circle from this relation so uh, if i want to draw a line away from this and make tangent to these uh, slot and it the circle uh, and if you want to delete any dimension you can also delete uh, this in the same way as we draw like just click on it and uh, uh, press delete button from the keyboard and it has been deleted now i want to make uh, this line tangent to this slot and just uh, select this line and press control button from the keyboard and uh, select this slot and make tangent here it has been tangent to this circle and similarly i want to make tangent to this uh, circle uh, select this line and uh, press control from keyboard and select this circle now it is tangent to this and select ok now from trim command we will remove uh, the extra line from here and similarly from here select ok now it has been removed and uh, our sketch is fully defined now you can see that okay now we will learn about the trim entities and for this i have drawn a sketch with help of line command and just go to the trim entities and here are the uh, various features of trim like power trim press the mouse button and drag it on the sketch it will delete uh, all the touching parts and if you want to undo our uh, last action you can 
do this from this undo command like this now see the other features like corner trim and i'm selecting the corner trim for this uh, select those part which you want to keep like i want to keep uh, this line and this line and it has been trimmed from the corner and if i want to keep this one and this one then it has been deleted from here now uh, it uh, it can also be used for uh, extending like this press this line and then this line it has been extended and uh, press this line and this line and it is extended here so uh, i'm again undoing it uh, now we will see the other features like trim away inside trim away outside the applying method of both these is same for this we will first select the boundary i'm selecting here select first line then press control button from keyboard and select the second line now uh, choose the line or uh, choose the sketch which you want to trim uh, trim away inside like this like this and this one this one press ok and again undo this and the last feature is trim to closest just uh, select this and press on the part which you want to trim like this and okay this was all about the trim and it is now we will solve some uh, basic 2d sketch exercises like this uh, plate washer 2d sketch we will draw this on solidworks this one is uh, 15 radius arc the dia of the circle is 10 and this dimension is 40 and this one is 30 and this arc is of radius 5 this distance is 10 this one is also 10 so let's do this on solidworks uh, for drawing it we will select the plane and make it normal i'm selecting top plane and just go to sketch and select center rectangle and uh, now go to smart dimensions and give dimension to this this one is 40 and uh, this dimension is 30 and uh, here we have a sketch like this now uh, I am going to trim and tease and selecting this power trim and just press mouse button and drag it like this now ok I'm um, going to smart dimension and select this dimension as 10 mm this dimension is also 10 mm and now I will uh, go to center point arc and select a center point arc here uh, select the center point then first point and then the second point now the arc has been drawn here similarly I am again selecting the center point R and uh, selecting the center point and selecting this point and then the second point this one. Now I will give dimensions to this like this one is 30 and uh, this one is 15, this one is 15 radius and we have to draw a circle here of 10 dia this circle is of diameter 10 now it is better we will provide uh, the required dimensions like this we have missed this and this one is 5 radius and uh, now our sketch will be completely or fully defined like this this is our first exercise now we will see how to uh, save this file in the jpg or pdf format like i'm selecting uh, the save button and drop down it and save as or save if you select save then it will be saved in the solidworks file format if you select save as then it uh, from here you can select uh, like 
if you want to convert in jpg format or uh, if you want to save this file in the pdf then you can also select adobe portable document format format that is the pdf format and you i'm selecting this in the jpg format and uh, i'm giving the name this one as exercise one exercise one exercise one now save and then i will just uh, go to here and here i have drawn this and you can see this uh, this is our jpg file format now we will solve our second uh, 2d sketch exercise here uh, the dimension is 70 and this dimension is 140 and the angle between them is 45 degrees the inner circle dia is 70 and the outer circle dia is 100 and other dimensions are similar so uh, solve this exercise uh, i'm selecting the top plane from here and make it normal selecting the line and here uh, just press the control button and middle mouse button to drag or to pan this origin to here now i'm drawing or sketch like this and go to the dimensions and this one is 70 mm this one is 140 and the angle between them is uh, 45 degree how to give uh, the angle dimension just uh, select the first line press control button from the keyboard and select the second line now the angle line is drawn and uh, we have to give the 45 angle here and go to the center line and here i'm drawing a line and uh, select the center line and other line and uh, press control button from keyboard now you can see that the relationship list is here and i want to make uh, both of these lines as parallel now parallelization has been uh, given now i want to mirror these lines to here go to the mirror entities and select first line then second line and choose the reference line mirror about this and here we have to select also this line and select ok now it has been mirrored here similarly we will mirror this part to our right side so go to the mirror entities and select all these and mirror about this line and here it is mirrored now again we will mirror it from here i'm selecting a center line like this and from here i will again go to mirror entities and select all these and mirror about this line so here you can see that our exercise has been solved uh, and completed we can give dimensions here like this one is 140 and uh, this one is 70 okay and this one is also 140 so uh, we can uh, give dimensions here now here you can see that uh, our precision is up to two decimals we want to remove the precision from here and we will also see the sketch settings and unit settings from here just go to the unit steps and uh, press this arrow then this list comes here and from here select the edit document units now from here you can change the arrow and uh, you can also change the font uh, and uh, like bold regular and uh, the size of our unit dimensions and here you can also change the primary precision like it is up to two decimals and i'm selecting none from here and press ok so here you can see that uh, our uh, precision has been 
deleted and uh, we will obtain only the actual values that we will give to our dimensions so this is our second exercise now we will solve our third 2d sketch exercise and from here we will learn about the linear pattern command in the sketch and uh, here you can see that this dimension is 200 this one is 70 and the circle dia is 14 and from this distance is 12 and this distance is also 12 and so let's solve this exercise um, again here and selecting the top line and make, make it normal now go to the corner rectangle and from here I'm selecting a corner rectangle like this and uh, just zoom to fit it and here I will give dimensions to this this one is 200 this one is 70 and here I will draw a circle and I will give dimensions to this from here this one is 12 okay and uh, this distance this distance is also 12 and select ok and the circle diameter is 14 like this now just uh, go to the linear pattern and from here there are two options either we can uh, do circular sketch pattern uh, this we use when we are working in a circle now we will select linear sketch pattern and from here uh, entities to be pattern I'm selecting here the circle and uh, now along x-axis the distance we will keep 22 millimeter and uh, number of patterns are 9 now in the y-axis I will choose the number of patterns 3 and uh, from here you can also change the direction like I want to reverse it and like this and here I will choose the distance between them that is 23 mm similarly in along x-axis you can also change the dimension uh, direction like this so press ok from here now this showing that uh, linear patterns are 9 here and this showing that uh, linear pattern along y axis are 3 and smart dimensions in order to give the dimension here and our sketch will be fully defined here Similarly, give dimensions to this one and uh, dimensions to this one. Okay, now our sketch is fully defined. Uh, this was all about the 2D sketch exercises.